What's up, everybody? The um, 1.4 beta version for single player commands has now been released. Um, so I will show you how to install this mod again for 1.4, for beta 1.4. I already have a mod on, uh, a tutorial on how to install this mod, but it's for 1.301. So now it's updated for 1.4, and I'll show you how to install that. So again, if anybody has not seen this mod before, I'll go ahead and show you it real fast. It's a very awesome mod. Um, it basically gives you all the commands you can do in a multiplayer server uh, in single player. It's fun to mess around with. There's a whole bunch of stuff you could do with this. So my favorite thing to do is flying. So if I want to fly, I can do forward slash fly um, and just hit enter. By the way, to bring up this bottom bar, you hit T and then you type in whatever you want so fly now flying's turned off and then you can just fly around um, there's ways to change the speed if you want to be able to go faster my computer seems to be a little bit laggy at the moment so I'm not gonna do that but then another cool thing you can do is you can spawn animals so if you want to do uh, forward slash spawn list hit enter and it'll give you a list of everything you can spawn if you have mo creatures or uh, more creeps and weirdos or any of those mods that installs other mods uh, mobs then they'll show up in this list too so I like the slimes where's the slime at the slimes number is 55 so I'll do forward slash spawn 55 hit enter and there you go, there's a slime. He matches me because I'm a slime too. So there you go. You have your little buddy, your little slime following you around. Um, but they don't always spawn that small. Sometimes they're the giant ones. Another thing you can do is you can give yourself items. So if you do forward slash give uh, diamonds number is 264 and then the amount that you want I want 64 diamonds so I hit 64 and then hit enter and there you go it spit out my diamonds now I have 64 diamonds and I don't really want these so I'll just throw them everywhere so you can just spawn yourself stuff there's a whole bunch of other things you could do um, if I wanted it to be nighttime I'd do forge slash time night and there you go now it's nighttime and then if I want it to be daytime again I'll just do forward slash time day so there is a huge list of a whole bunch of different commands you can do I'll show you that list there's also a list of all the item numbers so you can spawn anything you want so that's it for showing you the mod I can't show you everything you could do that that would need its own separate video so let me go ahead and show you how to install this now but I do need to clean out my Minecraft jar and I'll be back after I'm done doing it. Okay, so I've cleaned out my Minecraft jar and I will show you how to install this now. So you're going to need to get the mod, of course, so I'll give you a link to this page. And you're going to scroll down past all of this stuff. And then um, here's all the commands you can do. There's a whole bunch of commands. Uh, freeze, you can freeze mobs so they can't attack you you could set your spawn um, if you don't if you want to like kill yourself you can just type in kill and it'll kill you there's a whole bunch of things you can do you can repair it'll repair all your items to full health there's a whole there's, there's a huge list right here so anyways here's all the item numbers for spawning things for yourself and now you're probably going to just click on direct download and then save it to your desktop I already have it so I'm gonna hit cancel so that's how you get it now to install it if you're on Windows 7 or Vista you can just type in percent app data percent into here after you click on start and then just go into your roaming folder but if you're on XP you're gonna to want to type in run then open up run and then you'll type in percent app 
data percent into here and then just hit OK and that'll open up your roaming folder then you're gonna need to go into your minecraft your dot minecraft folder then you're going to go into your bin you're gonna need to open up this minecraft jar so you click on it you're gonna need winrar for this you can right click it open with winrar archiver or icarver archiver um, you're gonna to wanna to minimize this window so now we're gonna open up the mod and you're gonna to wanna to take this first class called the CH class and drag it in hit OK now take the player helper class and drag that in as well and you're gonna to wanna to take all the classes from settings class to world edit plugin and highlight all those and drag it in and hit OK you do not want to put the readme text the patch properties or the world edit jar into this into this area now you're gonna to need to delete the folder called meta inf so just click on it right click delete files hit yes that's gone now that basically will stop the mod from working if you don't delete it so now we can close this and you should have minimized this so bring your minecraft your dot minecraft folder back open and now you're going to take the world edit jar and drag it over uh, move and replace you're not going to have to do that because you're probably not going to have it in here so yeah just drag the world edit jar over to here and now you are set and ready to go use this like I said this mod is awesome it's one of my favorite mods it's a whole bunch of different stuff you could do so that's it I hope you guys enjoy this I hope it helped and thank you for watching I'll see you guys next time